Mauricio Pochettino, who was at the Leeds game today, uh, gave a brief interview to Sky and said, to be honest, I would love to work in the Premier League. I'm ready and waiting for a new challenge. <laughs> that is a come and get me plea, isn't it? To Manchester United, if you've ever heard one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well... <laughs> There was some. There have been some reports today. Not reports. There was some chatter today about Guardiola uh, going to Italy at some point. Sure. Uh, I don't think that'll be. He said himself, "I'm not leaving City in the summer unless they sack me." But you just never know. Uh, maybe Pochettino's hanging out for something a little better than Man United. That, as strange as that may sound, I don't know. What's interesting is that it was a fans forum yesterday, Jules, and obviously Woodward was asked about the plan, and he said, no, you know, we're going to financially back Oli. He's our man. We like the strategy that we've implemented. We want to bring in young, exciting talent. It seems like they're completely blinkered the fact that, in fact, they could swap Oli for Pochettino because that's possible. This isn't beyond the realms of possibility, is it? I'm, I'm convinced that Pochettino will be the manager of Manchester United next season. I've got no doubt that either they've already been talking or there will be talks very soon between Pochettino and, and Woodward and people at United. But if you think about it, there's, there's nothing else that Ed Woodward can say right now. He cannot say, mm, we're not sure about Solskjaer or, yeah, Solskjaer will finish the season and then we will find someone else. Because so that why, would don't, why don't they do it now, Jules? Absolutely. Why don't you just fire him now? If he's going to come in in the summer, bring him now push for that top four place and see what happens. I think it's too risky right now. It's too risky because you don't know how, how long it will take for Pochettino to settle in this club, especially, as we all know, it's quite a dysfunctional club at the moment. So I think it's quite hard for anyone to take this club in mid-February with Europa League games coming, with domestic cups and the Premier League games coming, Stop. where this team is still potentially capable of finishing the top four and winning trophies. And I think that could also unsettle the, the dressing room massively. I think it's the wise thing to do now to stick with Solskjaer anyway. There's, what, three and a half months left to go. You stick with him. He will do his best. The players will do his best, their best. And then you make a big change in the summer. Why, why would you not do it now? I mean, you, you've, got, you've got one of the, the best managers <clears throat> in Europe and you've, you've got a philosophy and if there's a manager that you can bring in and, and tell them, this is our philosophy, this is how we want to go about it, if there's one guy with a reputation that Pochettino's got that'll do it, because that's exactly what happened to him with Levy. He went in, Levy said, look, we want you to get us to a certain stage, but this is how we're going to do it. Mm. He's perfect. And for, for bringing him in now, all you do now is give him three months to see what he's got and then help you in the summer and let you know what he wants. What's wrong with that? George, you're talking as if this is a settled, happy, productive dressing room, which we know it isn't. No, 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 I agree with you, it isn't. I, it was more in the sense that I just don't think it would, it, would, it, would, it would be a service to Pochettino as well to just bring him in right now when things are not going well anywhere in that club. And also, I think there's a clause when Pochettino left Spurs that says that he's not allowed or able to take over another Premier League club in this current season. I think next season will be fine. I think this season he can't do it unless the other team has to pay Levy and Spurs quite a hefty sum of money. So I don't, th I don't think that would work for anyone. That's why I think it will happen, but only in the summer. But I, I guess Stevie's points as well. Things are not going well right now and you could do with a change. I just think it's a tricky time as well for a change right now. Well, I mean, if that's the case, it's not... I mean, I think it was Mark, Mark Ogden that pointed that out uh, two or three months ago mm. about a potential clause in, in working in the Premier League. And, you know, if that is the case, and it seems to be Jules has said it, Augie said it, so maybe it is a little bit more difficult because if, 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 if there's no stumbling blocks, if there's no barriers, you bring him in now and then he understands... By the time it gets this the summer, he's got three and a half more or four months more understanding of the club, of the facilities, of the staff, of his squad, of what exactly he needs. Uh, but clearly United are not going to do that, so... Are you as convinced as Jules that he will be the manager at the start of next season, Pochettino? Nah. Well, the longer Woodward keeps I'm, coming I'm, out, I'm not, back I'm, in just not, wonder. I'm just not convinced about anything Ed Woodward and this uh, board in terms of decision-making is doing, so no.
It's tricky, isn't it? As you say, you, the you... longer it goes, the the less chance you feel that Solskjaer's going to get the sack, or are they going to make a change? And the more times the everybody at United comes out and backs the way they're going about it and backs him, it's just the chances of it seem less and less and less that there's going to be a change. Right, here's a, here's the thing. Say say Real Madrid paced Man City in the Champions League, right? Say they they fall off to the end of the season. Uh, we know they're going to finish in the top four. I understand that. But say they just have a really iffy end to the season. They don't win the FA Cup. Uh, they're probably going to win the Carabao Cup anyway. Uh, and Guardiola changes his mind. Say, I tell you what, I, I, I'm going to go. Do you think so? No, no. But everything he's done at City to go to Juventus. No, no. What I'm saying is, just say, for example, that happened, and he said, right, I've just, I've had a thought, think about it. I've had enough. Right. What does City do? Oh, mm. Maurizio Pochettino's out there. And if you're Pochettino, just giving, just throwing this out there, and you have the two choices between the red side and the blue side, it's a yeah. simple choice. Yeah. Yeah. It's an absolutely simple choice. So the point being is, unless there's some uh, pre-deal been done between him and the club, he could go somewhere else. How possible is that theory, Jules? I, I think it's very, very unlikely that Pep Guardiola will leave in the summer. Even if everything that Greg just said happens, I still think that City will want to keep him. He's got, he's got another two and a half years left on his contract as well at City. And I think he's happy there. Yes, things haven't worked out exactly the way he wanted this season. And yet Liverpool are right now by far better than them. But I still think he has more to give to that club and that club has more to give to him. And I, I can't see him leaving in the summer at all, but, but then if he was to leave, then yeah, of course, City would be a much better proposition for Pochettino than United are. Yeah, no, I don't mean, I don't think City would get rid of him. Yeah. 100% not. But, you know, managers do go out on a whim sometimes and change their mind. And I'm, all I'm saying is, if you're leaving it to the summer, there is a potential for other, just as bigger clubs to come in, be it in, in England or somewhere in, in Europe. The latest edition of the Gab and Jules podcast talks more about Manchester United. And if you haven't seen it, oh, no. you will get to see Gab Marcotti's oh, oh, oh. rap where he incorporates every signing Manchester United have made since Alex Ferguson left. Marouane and his hair, Zaha no longer there, Yanko and Varela, Matt is a lovely fella. Say goodbye to David Moyes, SAF makes no noise, Daily Blind and Rojo, Radamel Falcao. Anders finally here, and so is Angel Di Maria. Andy Kellett won't play. Luke Shaw here to stay. LVG now drives a bus. No fear, no fuss. Schweinsteiger, Schneider, Lynn, Darmian is also in. Romero in Memphis. Martial just can't miss. El Fatouri, Reagan Poole, Fan Hal made to look the fool. LVG gets a sack. That's okay. Pogba's back. Special one on the bench. This time it's a stench. Mikatarian slats hand. Eric Bai, not a fan. Kovar Lindelof, Wayne Rooney buzzes off. Romelu Lukaku, Nemanja Matic on the loo. Alexis Sanchez, Mega Bucks. Joseph's Cross and gives no ducks. Lee Grant between the sticks. Paul Wollstone just for kicks. Diogo Dalla and Fred. Joe say no longer red. Welcome Ollie to the show. No more Mourinho. Juan Bissaka, Daniel James, Welsh dude with two first names, Harry Maguire's big head, Bruno Fernandes is a red. One more signing left to go, and look, it's Odeon Higalo. Oh my God, that's it. It's the first time you've seen that, isn't it? <laughs> See, I think Jules is going to have to come equipped to that podcast now with like a, a tablet in his pocket. <laughs> Take the red pill. A, a cyanide tablet in his pocket and just... just Pop it out like, during some light if it happens again. I guess, I guess the kids never got to the park this week. Sorry? What, what cause they he was writing that? He's too busy, isn't he? Oh, right. Tell us how proud of, he, of, it, of that was he? <laughs> he was really proud. I mean, he took, he, you know, it was a lot of work behind the, 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 the what, two and a half minutes that he sang that song. And uh, the week before, he almost did it. He was not so sure. And, and, and on Monday morning, he said to me, sure, should I do it? I said, yeah, go, go for it. And he was, I think he really enjoyed it. So it, it deserves a bit of love, I guess. Of course, definitely. Uh, the big question is whether... Don't show it to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's all over. It's gone viral. <laughs> Has it? Gab rapping away. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.